Kia ora Welcome into Rest Hills Park here in Hamilton. It's Waikato taking on Counties, Monaco, Stingrays and the National Men's Premiership. Anthony Galling here. Honoured to be here alongside Mr. Willie Poaching. What's happening, brother? The honour's all mine. Cheers, girls. Yeah, good. Uh, fantastic afternoon. It's been a great competition. We see one of the front runners of this tournament and the country's Monaco Stingrays going to work as they prepare to take on the Vulcans next week in what is likely to be the top two game, but they've got to get through this one first. Well, there's some results from Otago taking on the Vulcans, 58 points to 10. So the Vulcans, they'll be sitting pretty there in first spot. And then in the women's game, Counties Monaco, too big, too strong for the Canterbury Bulls down there in their own backyard. So we'll have a look at what the table looks like after these games. So beautiful day down here in Hamilton. Not the first time I've been down here to watch, but first time for you so far, Willie. You haven't seen Waikato play yet? No, I've not been had the fortune of seeing Waikato play, but I'm really excited to see them go at it. Conditions are perfect as we look at their lineup. A few familiar faces in there. None more so familiar than Samisi Mawala, the OG. One of the senior players here in this team. He's been coming off the bench the last few weeks, but today he's into the starting lineup. We spoke to Coach Harley Rehi earlier today. Well, Harley, is uh, today all about putting Mana back in the jersey? Yeah, uh, I probably would uh, answer this and uh, answer that question in this way. Um, if you're talking about last week's game against uh, the Vulcans, um, firstly, uh, hats off to the Vulcans, Scott. They've got a uh, very awesome team and uh, good coaching staff there. Um, in terms of uh, uh, Mana back into the jersey, um, we, we've, we've addressed uh, a lot of things from that game, a lot of learnings uh, to come out of that uh, game against the Vulcans. Um, it's probably highlighted, uh, to be honest, uh, the state and the level of rugby league that we have here in the Waikato at the moment. Um, there are definitely some uh, concerning things here um, that contribute uh, to that result. And our boys probably, uh, yep, they, they, they face it. They've, they had to be the face of uh, all those determining factors, but what I've just spoken to them about, uh, the most important factor in, in their result is their having pride in their own personal individual performance. And um, uh, if they're able to do that today, and we've got 17 boys who are willing to uh, take their pride in their performance and um, have some a level of care in terms of how they perform and how they front up for each other today, um, uh, I believe that, yeah, we'll, uh, the results... At the end of the game is not uh, important to me, to be honest. What I've just said to our boys, I've just said that um, it's very important that uh, how they front up for each other today is uh, the more... Um, what, I'm, what I'm looking for out of them uh, in terms of the performance today and the result. Awesome. Well, uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see how they fare today. We'll see what sort of team turns up. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks, mate. Awesome. Well, that's one way to put it. A lot of learnings to take from last week, of course. Beat an 80 nil by the Vulcans last week. Of course, their job doesn't get any easier this week because it's a big counties team. Willie, you have seen these guys play. Who do you like from this team, mate? Yeah, the fullback, James Dow, he's a danger man. He's bigger than your average fullback and gets himself involved. His kick returns are outstanding for them and get them a really good start. He's also a high point scorer. He's the goal kicker for them. But what's interesting for me is who they're resting and hopefully not a sign of complacency, but they've rested a couple instead. Middle of fold, Jamal Hunt, Arthur Crichton, really influential players, but what that's done is given others an opportunity to take their spot. Watch out also for Walter Fafita, the number five on the wing, a dangerous ball carrier for the county's Manukau side as well. He's your nephew, isn't he? No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Big rap on him, though. Hey, here's uh, Ruka Loza. We spoke to him earlier also. Well, Ruka, fantastic win last week against Akarana, 36-32. Uh, how's the squad shaped up after that tough one? 
Yeah, it was a tough week last week and lucky to get away there. But um, yeah, back to the drawing board for us this uh, this week and worked hard on all the silly things that we're doing in our game. And I'm not going to talk about discipline because I've been talking about that every week to you. So hopefully if I don't say anything today, we're going to be better at it. Beautiful day here. Good day for some running footy. Yeah, the surface here makes for an awesome game of footy and uh, we respect Waikato and we've come here um, just trying to do our best to get the two points and uh, not taking anything for granted and we need to be good again this weekend. Where do you feel you can hurt them? I think um, just finding our points and, and getting to our uh, middle of the field and taking some shape off the back of that but watching about what they did last week um, and what Vulcans did to them I'm pretty sure they're going to be a whole lot better today so we have to follow suit and be better as well. All the best for today mate. Thank you very much Brent. So teams are ready to rock and roll. As the captains lead them out now into a beautiful, beautiful day here at Rest Hills Park. Interesting, uh, Ruka Loza not wanting to speak about discipline because every week he's talked about it and he's kind of jinxed it. So there's your weather for you, 16 degrees, little 26 kilometer wind, very windy down here last time we were here. That looks to be... Uh, not too bad here today. But uh, you speak about momentum also. So this county's team last week, 18-0, they were up over Akarana. Then we landed in 32 unanswered points. 32-18, they were trailing, only to come back and win it 36-32 in the dying stages. And that'll be, a re that'll be a huge concern, to concede 32 points after getting yourself into a position to run away and hold control of the game, more importantly. And obviously they've... Akarana found their way in, back into the game on the back of some ill discipline. It's something he wants to try and fix up without speaking about it. But I'm very interested to see how Waikato go here and taking some of the words of the coach, just focusing on their performance, just getting their performance right. And don't focus about, don't worry about the scoreboard, and concentrate on their footy and putting their little moments that they have to together. Yeah, wise words, of course. The scoreboard, I'm sure that will be a byproduct of the hard work. If they can get it done here today, Rayhana to kick us off. So you've got the team that hasn't won a game up against the undefeated county side. So let's, how they, let's see how they go on this one. So counties. Looking to keep things up the middle. Coach Rehi identified the threats up the middle for counties. Now that's an early one from Pucky Parkinson to give away. A, a tough one. Tough one to concede. And didn't see a lot of effort from the county's Manukau player to try and get up. But an indication we'll see if... That's what Pucky Parkinson is, is looking for, a faster game this afternoon on this fast track. So looking for a faster game, but we're still waiting for a ball. I, just as we focus on that, man, I'll pass my apologies on. I said Jamal Hunt wasn't playing. But of course, he took the first carry of the game. He's back out there. So apologies for anyone thinking that he wasn't out there this afternoon. He's there, in fact. So, counties, we found a ball. Here we go. Sam Nazi. Sitting up with some shape down the left. That's a good shape. Prendergast, oh, looking for his runner back inside. But the ball goes to the ground, so a very slow start here. We've had a ball go into touch and go missing for a couple minutes. Now a turnover here on the first here. You can see what he's trying to do. Trying to draw that uh, white cut or defence across, looks like, before turning it back under. And this is a, a mistake or a trap that people fall into where you preempt the play. And whilst he had it designed for the man to come back underneath and drop him, it was the, the actual play, the winning play, was to hold the ball because the defender had come out. So just making your adjustments, even though you call the play, you don't have to play it. 
So Maichu, very deep off the ruck. Takes play towards the left-hand side of the field. Coming back now with McLaren. The two headgears combining. That's uh, Jordan Grace is the other one. So from dummy half. Here they go. There's a nice play there. Thompson, Karina. And for good, strong carry. No kick pressure. They put one up into the slight breeze here. Grace goes for it. Not back to Moala. So what do you make of that first set there from Waikato? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It's a bit of ball movement. I like the play out to Thomas Cardena out here on the right-hand side. They put the bomb up. I'm not sure what the back three of the country's Manukau side were doing. There was no one in the vicinity of the ball. And Waikato, Jordan Grace has needed to do better and should have done better on that catch. So it's a kick into touch now. And here come counties on the first plate from the tap. They're up over halfway. Walton Benedict. Right, they go. It's a bit of shape here, a little bit of space. The ball is left to bounce. It's cleaned up by Sosomia. A very, very clunky start to the game for both sides. So it's a foy. Goes to Nazi. So good work there from Moala to slow down the play of the ball. But now Prindergast. It's a bit of space here for Fida. Back inside Dowie. Fifth tackle. It's allowed to bounce. It's cleaned up. Eventually, a bit of footwork there to try and get out from Rex Sullivan. But Counties shut the lid on that. Yeah, doing exactly what the coach was asking for. Set at the middle of the field and then have a play out to one of their edges. They come out to their left and it's Fafita who finds himself with the ball. Just puts a deaf little kick in. And you just see by the numbers, County's just a little bit more urgent than Waikato just to get themselves around the ball. So it's a high drop out. Sits up in the breeze. And there's a strong run back. Wharton Benedict. Second carry of the game. Nazi. Oh, wow. So ball back inside to Hunt is dropped. There's an appeal for penalty as he threw it away in frustration. However, none forthcoming. Yeah, that's three, three critical errors. You mentioned it before. Just looking clunky. And it's not so much their timing, it's just some of the execution, some of the concentration on the catch. That was a simple play just back inside that wasn't taken cleanly at all. Another stoppage. Another opportunity for Waikato to mount some sort of attack. Yeah, it's quite a slow start. Do you feel, do you feel like if you're up against a team that you're expected to flog, do you feel like you can kind of go into the games with the wrong mindset or just with a lack of tempo? Yeah, you, you can fall down your standards. Regardless whether they've rested some players or not, they've got some standards they've got to uphold, and at the moment they're not keeping those standards. Well, there may be some players rested. There's also some missing from injury, of course. Anthony Fuimaono. Sadly uh, injured last week, possible uh, meniscus tear in his knee. Hopefully nothing too serious. And we can see him back for these last two games. So Rangi puts it up in the breeze. Great take from Dowie. Very, very close to the sideline. That was a great kick and chase on the fullback. I mentioned him. His size and his pace, he's dangerous on the kick returns. And if you're going to put him up, just put that pressure on him as soon as he's catching the ball to make the tackle. It's a good start to their defensive set. 
Yeah, good work here from County from the outside backs. What do you think is more important? Is it if you're a winger coming out of that corner, do you want to get to the middle of the field or do you want to just get forward? As a forward, I want you to get to the middle. <laughs> I want you to open up some options for me. Yeah. Coming out of a corner is the toughest carry in the game. Defensively, you can just load up, you know. There's only one point of direction. And try and get to the middle. Yeah, good work there from Lewis Susamia, opening up the options, as you say. So Rex Sullivan, he'd love to see that go dead. However, he's going to bring this one out. We've seen some fancy feet from him already. At this time, with very little space, Sullivan. And here's a penalty for Waikato. They're just opening the door at every opportunity down here at the Countess Manukau Stingrays, whether that's through an error or as it is on this occasion, just giving the penalty away. At some point, Waikato will need to take one of those invitations. But already, this is a better start than what they, were, what they came up with last week. At this point of the game, they were already close to 18-0 down. So to keep them scoreless here already, they've got to take a lot of positive positivity out of that. Yeah, absolutely blitzed by the Vulcans last week. And of course, playing today with nothing to lose. Samisi Mawala. Graces. Straightening. There's some great shape there from Jordan Graces. He's got a man inside. He shows it, but goes himself. The fence coming to drag him into touch. He thought about the offload. Couldn't get it free, but it doesn't matter. He's still inside the field of play. And Waikato now with some precious, some precious territory. They put boot to ball, and it falls just short of the try line. Great placement on the kick. Walter Fafida brings it back for counties. Nice play. Jordan Grace doing it all on his own. I thought they may have been able to play closer to the defensive line and hold some attackers, but he did it all himself with his dummy show and go, his speed to get on the outside. Couldn't quite beat James Dowie, the fullback from County's Manukau, but the best phase of attack from the Waikato side so far. Well, you mentioned some last minute changes for Waikato. There was a move made to have Samisi Mawala to start this game. Of course, Chase Kennedy, he'll be on the bench in the number eight jersey. So perhaps thinking to start with a little bit more experience in the opens, opening stages. Rex Sullivan again picking up the ball from inside his goal line. Some great deep kicks from counties early on. Now the outside backs trying to find a bit of space. Trying to generate a quick play the ball for the next guy. Karena. There's a good run. Watsini. He's got something to play off now. Buala. He's been busy. He's been willing to get his hands on the ball. So, looks like a penalty. Something's going on in back plate. So, it might be a little push on the escort. Nice play by Rehana. Trying to ask a different question. Oh, there's not much in that. That's uh, just... He fell down, fell down hard, but I don't, think there was, well. <laughs> I don't think there's much malice in that from Rehana. Speaking of good starts, did you think the Roosters were onto something last night? The start that they had? No. <laughs> no, I always had faith that the Storm would come home strong. Being down to 12 men, and they're, they're a great attacking team, the Roosters. But once they got uh, back to even numbers, I was really interested to see how the contest was, and I always knew that at some point the Storm would come back. Well, I thought it was interesting for the Roosters to go for two when the Melbourne were down to 12 players. So did I. Goes to show this where they were. Yeah. Happy to take any points on offer. I'm sure counties are happy to take any points on offer at this stage. Approaching the 15 minute mark. Inside the 20 now to Foy. He's at dummy half. 
They work it down the right edge, looking for some space, just about opening up. But that'll be fifth tackle. So Sam Nazi there in the six. My apologies, I've got him mixed up early in this game. He must have had a haircut during the week. And well done to Waikato. They've done a really good job in organising their defensive line, reading where their plays are. They're playing pretty direct at them. A smart kick there from Desmond Tohofohi. Looked like it was going to go dead, held up. And they get another chance to attack off this dropout. So a little dummy back to the right. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a short or a long one. I'm not sure. <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. So County's now setting the platform. Options both sides. Tunga for here goes right to Ngati. Sam Ngati, nice little play here for Dowie. Lewis Susamia walks into the corner. Smooth as you like. County's on the board, 4-0. First back-to-back -back set. That'll be the message from the coach. They controlled the footy to get a drop out, get a set restart. See them playing directly into the line. Samuel Nati out the back of shape. Engages the defenders, gives James Dow with some space. And Lewis Sosemir is in for the first four-pointer for the game to allow County's Monaco to take the lead. Simple, controlled, error-free. Well, he's a powerful ball runner, Lewis Sosemir. Of course, no need to flex the muscle for that one. Plenty of time and space. Set up by that man, James Dowie. Let's see how he goes with this conversion. <laughs> Look at that in the background, pizza each. How good. Dowie just about pushes that one over. It falls just short. Might have even touched the crossbar. So 4-0 the score. Are you expecting a cricket score here today, Willie? Well, going off the back of last week, I was interested to see how Waikato were going to come out and how that affected them confidence-wise. I love the words of the coach. To strip things back, simplify, focus on, as I said, their performance rather than the result. Come out and just leave everything out on the field. And they're doing that at the moment. As you said, your performance is what takes care of the scoreboard. The scoreboard will take care of itself if you focus on that, getting it right. So here we go, back underway. Wharton Benedict. Another strong carry. Hunt. So two or four here from dummy half. Pendergast. Dowie again. Walter Fafida puts the pedal to the middle. Will he go around him? No, he comes back in on the left foot. Some desperate defense there from Waikato. Dowie testing out the markers. Thought he might have caught them napping. But they saw him coming. But that doesn't stop them. The offload back inside to the man who started the line break for Fida. Touching down eventually, left-hand corner. Yeah, I like the lead-up play. A couple of drop-offs coming out their own line, playing tight, pulling in the defenders and the defensive line of the Waikato side. 
And then they decide to move it out to the left, and it's Fafita who finds all the space. And couldn't quite beat the, the last two defenders. Plays the ball. James Dowie gets out of dummy half, tries to go for a dummy half sneak, which I didn't think was ever on, but he was strong enough and had the presence of mind to flick the ball back, realising that the play of the ball man was still on site. And that's Fafita. He goes over for the second try of the day. Countries Monaco 8 0. His kicks aren't getting any easier for James Dowie. Yeah, super strength there from Dowie. That's his second try assist of the day. Four defenders on him that time. Still manages to get the offload. Lots of Fafita getting some deep breaths. I'm sure he'll need them after that line break. What does it say about your side when your winger and your fullback are the two biggest blokes in your team? <laughs> it's a team of monsters. So another look at the try there. Yeah, four defenders and one of them, just one, needed to control the ball. I could see what they were focusing on. They were trying to drive him into touch. They just had to pin the ball to him and lock it up and prevent him from getting that offload. That was a great reaction from Fafita too. I think I would have been looking at where the scrum's going to pack down by the time they throw that ball back inside. <laughs> and both these guys both play for Papakura, so they've got that club synergy and they understand each other playing at that level as well. So. Yeah, some great chemistry there. Let's see if Waikato can find some chemistry to help them get back in this one. 8-0 the score, 20 minutes gone, just about. Tungia for four, linking up with Wharton Benedict. <laughs> nice little bear up there. Who's wrestling who? <laughs> So strong run there. Oh, just about. Possession just about taken away. By some big meters broken off by Desmond Tofoy. So counties now two tries already. They're hitting in the right direction for a third. Nazi out the back. Dowie again. Oh, Sosomir's left it behind. First little, first real break in momentum for counties. Yeah, since since they got going, since that penalty for the escort for knocking over the on the kick chase, Waikato haven't seen the ball, and they've been there a free up until that moment. Counties Manukau, I thought they found a bit of a secret for themselves, but again, just a bit of a lack of concentration from Source Mia. Needed to take that and should have. So, what's in here? dummy half finds Karena. He's been a real go forward for Waikato with some of his first carries in this game. Some work from the marker there. They're going to have to keep hold of this guy. There's Sotti. Racing out of dummy half. Rehana. Karena. So very, very close to the sideline. Back to Rehana. Oh, there's a wobbly looking kick. I don't think anybody saw that one coming. And I think McCarran was the one that was supposed to be putting in the kick and then I don't think he fancied it really mu that much. It's a disappointing end to what was a promising set after Sotti split them through the middle. Yeah, keep your eyes on Teo Porosotti. The last time he played here, he was uh, he came off the bench in the number nine position. Very, very dynamic runner out of dummy half, as you could see there on that line break. So keep your eyes on him as this game continues. Keep your eyes on this guy too. County's up the middle. Nazi unable to pull it back in. So it looks like there's going to be a double knock on perhaps. We may come back for just the one. Pucky Parkinson 
Taking us back to the 30. It's going to be a scrum to Waikato. Sam Nazi though, seems to be going all right down that right edge. Yeah, Something a little different that time. That's it. He's been going out the back. Just working on the keep going this time. He comes back to his inside man just to keep the defenders on us. Asking some different questions. Just keeping the Waikato defenders on their, on their toes. There were plenty of options. James Dowie again. Right place, right time. So Waikato with the ball in hand looking to get some better territory Karina he's been busy he's been real busy this afternoon so far he wouldn't look out of place in the front row would he he's a big body isn't he he can, he's one that can definitely generate some ruck speed so Jaden White's in it goes left to Rangi McLaren into the county's half now 24 minutes just about going on the clock Sullivan decides to give himself up and on the last tackle Jordan Grace has put it to up high it's allowed to bounce Rangi's there competing James Dowie wraps the ball up counties with a Possession now, tackle one looking to go wide off the ruck for Fida. I'm going to be tackling him one on one. They're struggling two on one. You just got to try and get those numbers, especially off the kick chase where they've had some positive oh. results. <laughs> big, big carry. Well, there's a lesson in physics. If an object is bigger than you and traveling faster, get out of the way. Boom. Oh. Jaden Watsony feeling the full brunt. So just two tries in it after 25 minutes. Could be more though. Straight up the middle, Wharton Benedict. Waikato still getting back in defence. They're short on numbers. They might be over chasing here. Some little gaps opening up back inside. They could get found out now off the back of that offload. So Rangi's there to make the champ, uh, make the tackle. But it's a very quick play the ball. Jamal Hunt back inside. Terrell Sala, he's on in the 14 jersey. To a 40. Short ball again. Still looking to go down this left edge for counties. They're very persistent. Will the pressure pay off? Yes, it does. Ramsey crashes over. And just like that, it's three tries to nil. And they busted down the front door. First it was Wharton Benedict, straight off the tap. I thought they were going to go play through the middle again, but they decided to go out to the right-hand side, and Tupo brought the direction of the play back to the middle. And just got him short. You can see how far infield they are. The defenders scrambling to get around the threat of the ball in the middle. And a wonderful try by Ramsey there. Third try of the afternoon for Countys Manukau. Yeah, Toa Itzi Ramsey, I love that change of direction off the ball. Great feet. So it's been all counties this first 27 minutes, although it's only two converted tries on the scoreboard. Can Dowie push it out to three scores with this one? So it looked like it sailed over to the left, but of course it's gone through the post first. So great kick from Dowie. He's now one from three. It's like a little, uh, little hitch in his giddy up there. Bit of a limp walking back to halfway. 
just see the try again. Because they were short on the line, they're having to overchase and scramble to get it across. Ramsey just goes against the grain with his left foot step. Found enough space to stroll himself through, pick up his first for the afternoon. But with half an hour nearly up, and the score's at 14 0, and the momentum's all been, been all counties Monaco's, I don't think they'll be completely happy with, with a lot of the errors and some of the real discipline. So counties, of course, chasing a more complete performance than what they have provided in the last two weeks. Of course, uh, round one, they went 40 nil against Bayer Plenty. Since then, they've uh, had a small habit of letting teams back in once they build a lead. But for now, here they are, 14 nil against Waikato as we approach the half-hour mark in this first half. So Madison to kill. That's the man in the white headgear. Center of your screen. That's what you love about these rep teams. Every time you get all the best players around, you always get at least two good nines in your team. You get that really good rotation we said in a lot of teams. That's a big error. After points, you're looking to complete your next set. Trying to gain as many metres as you can. The Prendergast just kicking the ball out of the full. Turning it over on halfway. There's some of those discussions. And what I'm talking about, whilst they're 14 nil up, half an hour gone. Had the majority of control of the game. And won't 100% be happy. So here's Sula. Rangi. Chase Kennedy. He's off the bench now and into the action. Rayhana. Almost sliding through. The defence shut the door there. Rangi. Out of dummy half. Looking for a short ball. Oh! Thompson carrying up. In a bit of space, I thought he might have gone over himself, but he opted for the quick pass and go. I suppose his winger just wasn't quite ready. No, couldn't quite get the, enough height on the pass. Needed to read that play and be on his toes. As soon as Rangi went out of dummy half, he needed to be ready. And it's a shame he deserves a try himself for all his efforts so far. But a turnover opportunity lost. So here's a try scorer. Ramsey plays it. Back to Tequil. Nazi. Just a slight little show and go there, looking to go himself to Coat. Testing out the markers now. Dungy's there to wrap him up. But it's a quick play, the ball. Hunt. So last tackle, Nazi goes high. Here's a test now for Sullivan. Oh, it's an awkward one. Fortunate it went back, backwards. But they're doing some of the little things really well. Waikato tying them from the inside. When they're being beaten on the floor, the markers still playing the systems well. And even on that one, they got some kick pressure. So they're working hard off the ball. These are the dangers. This is what I feel is the dangers for, for the country's Manukau side from the Waikato team. Is the smaller men. The smaller men with footwork. Sooties look dangerous. Grace has broken them up. And Durangi from dummy half showing some threats. It's those smaller, faster men around the bigger defenders who I think can try and prize an opportunity for the Waikato side. Yeah, definitely keeping those big boys at counties on their toes. Especially if they can get some quick play the balls here. But for now, their next assignment's going to be defence. 
We have 14 points to nil. They'll need to be the next to score to have any chance of keeping in touch with County's Prendergast. Chopping off Walter for feed up. Coming like John Alomu up the middle. To Q. County's rumbling forward now. Prendergast is there. He's called for the ball. He's got options in Dowie. Dowie to Ramsey. Ramsey spinning. Stop there from Karena. But counties roll on. Now going from left to right. To Q at dummy half. Brings it back to the left. Jamal Hunt standing offloading just about. Ball goes to ground. Why can't you dodge a bullet? They do dodge a bullet, but they work hard. They work hard to be first to the ball. They look threatening at times. Countess Monaco, especially when they go to the edges and power through the middle. They'll be disappointed with the amount of errors they've made. Again, some fast feet, smaller man. Well, here's a guy who's not a small man, but he's effective out of dummy half. So, ball goes to ground. Picked up by Jordan Graces. On tackle five, Rangi goes to Sullivan this time. That's a nice big boot, trying to get over the head of Walter for feed up, but it goes straight to the bread basket. He's a monster, oh, there's a man yeah. down. Someone went straight into the elbow, looks like. Looks like uh, Gudgeon in the 21 jersey who's gone down. Yeah, Billy Gungeon. Felt yeah. the full force here. Have another look on this. Just Ooh. the left. Oh. Mm, wonder if he raised an arm there. So, County's no mucking around. It's a very fast kick into touch, and now a tap and go. So, Ngati. Hands. Salah. Hunt to Nati. Showing, going. Here's a bit of space now. Luis Susumia. He is in cruise control out on that right edge. That's his second try of the day. And it was a walk-in. A walk-in. He's yet to break a sweat, this guy. And it was more about the defenders coming out of the line and Creating a disconnection. You can see there, Grace just flying all the way in, forcing his edge. Sotti's got to come in because they've got a trail. Sotti Mare finds himself an open space. Could moonwalk if he wanted to to the <laughs> try line. How do you stop that if you're the Waikato defense? Because that's the second time now they've been found out down that side. They've got to trust their line and not break it. When they've had connection, they've stayed connected as a defensive line. They've frustrated the defence, the offend, the attack of the country's manica, and they've had to turn the ball back inside. Happy days, they deal with it. When they've tried to shoot out and try and solve them, the play on their own, that's when they've become unstuck. And that was what happened on that occasion. So conversion is added. 20 points to nil. You can hear the, uh, the search helicopter flying over, looking for Waikato's attack, perhaps. So just a couple minutes now remaining in this first half. You say it's uh, you know Waikato's biggest threat, bringing these small guys in, the fast feet. How do you bring these guys into the game? Is it just out of dummy half? That's the most effective way. And if not, they've got to play a lot flatter to the line. When they are getting a quicker play of the ball and they're trying to move it off out of dummy half, 
They're playing way too deep. Cool, play on's the call here. They could be in, Rangi off the right foot, now the left foot offloads. Karina in the corner. There's some points for you. Call off the search, we've found them. And well done. They've, uh, they've had an issue with dealing with all the kicks. In general play in that time on the kickoff. Counties Manukau, Waikato going for the short kick. Counties Manukau couldn't take it cleanly on the bounce. Waikato has spoken about their urgency. Rehana gets to the ball, moves it out to Rangi. Mahinga Rangi, then out to Karina. Well deserved for all his hard work. Could have scored about five minutes ago. But he takes his one then. Great try in the corner. And great reward for Waikato. Yeah, they get it down this time. Very few and far between the scoring opportunities they've had in this first half. And uh, pretty much how the game has been here. No one's in a rush. <laughs> There's no real effort to speed up the play. Is it the environmental factors? Is it just that the games in Waikato, everything just seems to be at its own pace? Well, the referee, go back to the start of the game, gave a penalty away for holding down, which I thought was a tough call. And I thought that was an effort from him to try and speed up the game. Mm. And then the ball goes into touch. It takes an age for it to get back into the field of play. But there's never been any tempo to the game or any willingness from either team to speed it up. And I understand Waikato. They want it nice and slow. They want the stoppages. Yeah, it suits them well. Reihana pushes that one to the left. So the score remains 20 points to four. Counties leading Waikato. There's a try scorer there. Thompson, Karina. Counties are strolling to reset this. And that siren means it's half time. So the two sides hidden. Looks like they're going back into the tunnel for a debrief and review. So counties 20 points to four. We'll be back with some first time highlights. First half highlights.
So welcome back to a very sleepy Rest Hills Park. Just a very, uh, it's at its own pace today. 20 points to four, Counties Monaco leading Waikato. A few of the locals here, money to wake up a couple of them. It's a bit of yawning in the grandstand. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been all counties for the first 37 minutes. Of course, Waikato getting over late in the first half, but what do you make of these tries from counties? Yeah, and these tries came about from the few moments that counties were able to control the footy. A lot of errors to open the game. First chance. They string a full set together. They go out and source their mouth scores. This was off a big kick return out of a play. Went out to the left of Fita. He didn't, couldn't quite get over himself. James Dowie decides to go short side. He said presence of mind and strength to get the ball out to Fafita to score in the corner. Yeah, James Dowie, of course, Auckland Rugby League's fullback of the year. Showing what he can do in this game so far. There's a great try from Ramsey. Sharp footwork, and that's been the order of the day and the danger of the day from both sides. So they hit him on the right, two on the left, and then they came back to the right. Some great shape there for counties. What seems to be working so well for them? When they've when they've shown some patience, when they've decided, when they've had the patience to punch through the middle some disorganisation in the line for Waikato and make the defenders come out, that's when they've caused them some trouble. Disappointment for the county's Monaco side after they score. Short kickoff from Waikato, regathered the kickoff and Cardinal scores in the corner to close off the half. But a well taken try, well deserved by the big centre who's carried strongly all, all afternoon during that first half. So, a few closing words there for Waikato as they get ready for the second half. 20 points to four they trail. We'll be back with the second half very soon.
So here we go for the second half. Straight back into it. I was actually busting for a wee. I should have taken my opportunity. But it's end to end the action here at Rest Hills Park. County's leading Waikato. So what have you made of the game so far, Willie? Well, just thinking about the coaches at half time and, and what some of their chat would be, I think. Harley Rahe, the coach for the Waikato side, I think will be the happier of the two. They're down 20 to 4. But what he spoke about at the start of the game, looking for some improvements in his side, I think he's seen that. I think for long periods of this game, they've more than held their own. They've conceded at vital times, but they've defended a lot better, and the improvement from last week is exceptional. So I think he'll be really happy. I think Ruka Loza, the coach from Monaco, I don't think he'll be happy at all with some of the errors. I think one of the things he'll be telling his team is to speed it up, speed the game up their last try, they kick for touch in a hurry. They went to the tap really quickly. They've got to try and speed the game up and take it out of the hands of the Waikato side instead of playing down to their tempo. Yeah, some, uh, some wise words there, of course. Waikato talk about playing down tempo. Starting the second half with an error now. The county's making error. Do they drop their game and make an error in return or do they keep hold, stay disciplined? and put them to the sword. Let's see what they have off the scrum here. It's right in the middle of the park. So plenty of space for some some of their attacking weapons. Prendergast is very, very wide to the left. He'll take the ball in hand, looking for some space. One-on-one -on -one, takes him on. Taking in a high shot there. Tackle that I suppose needed to be made to stop him going through. Yeah, Billy Gudgeon, unfortunately, just with a swinging arm. So uh, counties now hot on the attack. Just a minute in to the second half. Nazi. That's Lolo here with the fend up, looking to break some tackles. So we'll work it back towards the post. So it's a coat. They've got some great shape out here. Plenty of space. Prendergast looking for Dowie. Dowie beats one. Still going. Looking to link up with his winger eventually. But not needed there. Rick Sullivan, the fullback. He's in on that tackle. Now he's on his bike. Waikato defense holding strong for now on fifth tackle. To Co goes himself. Sees an opportunity. And there's no mucking around. Tako over for counties early in the second half. Just too much pressure from counties Manico on that occasion, moving the ball from left to right and then back out to the left hand side again, moving the defenders and the defensive organisation of the Waikato side. Last play, everyone expected the ball to go out to one of the halves to fashion a kick to finish the set, but Tako. Out of dummy half, as he's done a couple of times today. Gets himself a four-pointer. See them skittling some defenders, but you can still see some of the movement around the ball. Just not getting into the right spots there. Well taken. Going to take some stopping there when you got went so low. The perfect start for the country's Manukau side. So, James Dowie kicks that one onto the uh, softball diamond. Just see in the background there, there's a try score of Madison to Kelp. Another look at that. It's like you talked about in the first half there, Willie, the middles creating some chaos and some uh, disorganization and amongst the defence, creating opportunities, some running opportunities for your halves. And again, some reward for one of the little quick men. <laughs> it's a day for the, uh, the little speedsters, isn't it? So Rayhana gets us back underway. It's a big high kickoff, which falls down on the 10 metre line of counties. 
Madison to Coe at dummy half. Strong run there from Comrade. Counties just going about their business. Leaving defenders in their wake as they roll up towards halfway to Coe. This time they go short side. Got plenty of numbers down that left edge, so there must be some space elsewhere. Prendergast. The kick goes straight to Rex Sullivan. But it looks like the uh, some of that kick chase is offside. And that's a much better set as far as tempo is concerned from the country's Manico side. Playing tight around the rug, making easy meters because of the tempo and the will to play the ball quickly. To Carl taking some meters and then looking for options. But as was the case for large parts of the first half, they get down there but then concede a penalty. Great kick from Waikato to get to the halfway line. There might have been a bit of GST added there from Matachi. But nevertheless, there's our coach Leroy Favese there in the background for counties. Instrumental in their campaign as they roll towards. A possible final. Graces. That's Flood in the 15 jersey. First carry for him. Little Reggie to go along with it. Rangi. Rehana. Karena. He's got one try already today. The big man looking to get an offload. As he inches closer towards the sideline. Stays in play. And plays it back now. Here they go, Ray Hunter. Graces, Grubbers. Could be an opportunity here for Sullivan, but it's cleaned up well from Susumia. So County's back in possession. Yeah, Susumia been very, very good with the ball when called upon, other than that one error that he came up with. But on that occasion, it was defensively. He was called upon to clean up. We did a great job sweeping out the back. And they were threatening on the back of that kick. So let's uh, let's put the coaches on, coaches hat on for a second here. Well, if you're picking the wingers for your side, do you want a speedster or do you want a big fella that's going to knock the door down, or do you want two big fellas, or do you want two speedsters? You want a bit of everything? If you can have a little bit of everything, that's fine. Isn't it? Walter Fafita, he's got a bit of everything. He's got some size, he's got some footwork, he's got some pace. Ideal. But as we've seen today, someone like Soti, who's on the wing, on the left wing for Waikato, he's threatened with his speed and his footwork. Mm. He's been dangerous around fatiguing big men around the middle. So there's some merit and some reward for picking either. But whatever you have, the winger has to have a point of difference. He has, has to have one of those qualities that you're talking about. Yeah, especially as you move up the grades here. So to Kel, Prendergast, Nazi puts boots a ball. It's a very well weighted kicks from Counties. Sullivan's had his hands full. It's the outside backs looking for some work now. Sullivan is in that dummy half as they look down the short side. This is flood. There with a big shot there from Prendergast. David versus Goliath, Liam Prendergast getting through his work defensively. Sotti, not much space for him this time. 48 minutes gone, 26 points to four. So Jamal Hunt and Marker held back a little bit there just to uh, try and negate some of the kick pressure coming from him. There's that man we mentioned, Walter Fafida. He is a little bit of everything, isn't he? He's got the pace, he's got the size. He's a big bopper. Definitely a handful for the defense is Dowie. Yeah, for feet is almost the same size as Dom Young. Yeah. Uh, yeah he's got the height. Presence. So 
a big one here from Susumia. So some hands on the ball, wins his team a penalty. Counties with a fresh set of six. Yeah, tough. Tough some of these. So straight off the tap and go, they're into their work. To go back towards the short side. They've been tested so much already. For feeder now, all oh, too easy. The defense was there for Waikato. <laughs> but for feeder, it comes off the left foot. And makes it look like a piece of cake. Yeah, I spoke about some disconnection in their line, and the moments that they find themselves in trouble, the Waikato defence is when people shoot out or don't come up, and it was flood on that occasion. He flew off his wing to try and shut the play down. James Dowie didn't get the ball. It was a face pass straight across to Fafita, but it was enough to throw a dummy into flood as he does there. So the Hinders defender, Cardina has to try and cover from the out, from behind, and in doing so is over, over chased. Left foot step. Big Walter gets a second for the day. Walter Fafita, aka Dom Young. <laughs> well taken try. Well, well built up. So Dowie from out wide looks good, but only just waved away. So look at that try again. Look where he puts it down. Look at the seats there. Look at those people sitting right on the corner. I'd hate to think what they paid for those seats. <laughs> Cross an arm and a leg sitting there, that close to the action. They're almost in the ring, other than <laughs> ringside, aren't they? <laughs> well, every time I look over, they're getting closer and closer. He's probably come up with a try saver in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> so, hey, Hana. Restarts play. Caught by Prendergast. That's a great start to your set. And just that. Just the restart. They're playing against a big side. It's on the front foot and they're, they're chewing up metres. When you're kicking off, you've got to try and make it as hard for them as possible. And kick the leather off the ball. And being too delicate and they're not getting enough distance off their kickoffs here. And so already counters Manico on the front foot deep into the Waikato half. So on tackle four that's Terrell Salah. Plays it back to Tikel. They've had some joy down this left edge. Now they go again. Ramsey, great little out ball there looking to get round his defender. The work is not done. He stays up on his feet here. Scampering the cross field, looking for the offload. Rangi's there to wrap him up. Oh, another little wedgie. That's second of the game there. Some interesting tactics from the Waikato defence. Ngati puts this one up into the air. It's in goal if he can catch it. So here comes a seven tackle set. Keep your eyes on Sotti. Yeah, disappointing end to the set. So yeah, they made some inroads. Getting through the middle. Could have pinned them on the try line, put some real pressure on. Yeah, just a little offline with the kick there on the last. But now Waikato with a seven tackle set. I believe they'll be tackle three as they approach the halfway line. And there's a fresh set of six. Some strong work there from their winger, Flood. And you can see the fatigue starting to set into the Waikato side. And even more so, they were doing it at the start of the game, but even more so now. There's no rush. Well, I think there's some fatigue sitting into the crowd. They don't call it Rest Hills Park. It just looks so cosy. I could imagine myself down there having a nap as we speak. It's a very uh, peaceful environment down there at Rest Hills Park, Hamilton. So Rangi out of dummy half goes right. They Hana. Sullivan. 
Some good D there from Ramsey. Looks like the ball's come loose. No captain's challenge to come. And not a lot of argument from Rick Sullivan. I didn't see anything bobble, but he's got up. And almost has an admission of guilt. I'm not oh, sure. I thought he kept hold of that one. Yeah, that's they've copped a couple of tough ones here this afternoon, Waikato. And this, for the people watching at home, yes, there was the ball came loose and he didn't get full control, but it neither touched an opposition player or the ground. Mm. So, counties with the ball now coming out of their 20 for feed up. So strong up top. Susumia. He looked a bit busy in the second half. Oh. So ball goes down for counties. So Waikato coming off that error from Sullivan moments earlier, but now they've got a second chance at it. Getting something on the scoreboard here in the second half. Again, just one of those lapses in concentration. So Jordan Grace is to feed the scrum. Rangi off the back, finds Rayhana. Rayhana straightens into a big tackle. From Prendergast again. And now they come down the short side, Flood. To some strong defence from Tuofoe. Gudgeon. He's had plenty of work to do defensively, not so much in attack. Rangi. Still. Here's a spark now for Waikato. Oh, it was brought to have gone back, so it's six again, I believe. Should be. I don't think he's picked it up, the referee. So, Grace, is there someone down here for counties? So they're defending with 12 in their line. Sotti's at dummy half, and I'm not too sure if the referee reset the tackle count. No, he didn't. It's tackle five. Jordan Grace has put boot to ball for feeders there. And he's got a little bit of space. What can he do with it? He gets out of the end goal, and he almost gets out of the 10. Strong run there from Walter for feeder. As the referee calls time off. For someone that went down a couple of plays ago. Yeah, it looks like it might be someone with a knee injury. I don't know if it's Toho Fohi. A great run from Rangi. And that's where I thought it should have been back to one. And they had some tough calls today. The Waikato side, they're just going to roll with it. Great piece like of work from Walter Fafita in the end goal. Looks like a lower limb injury there for Tua Foy. Oh, just there. Falls awkwardly. <laughs> Looks like he's going to tough it out. Good on you, young man. Yeah, give, him a, give him a set or so just to see if he can run it out. Madison Tikal, of course, he's already there in the number nine position. And they are up 26 points on the scoreboard. So perhaps there is an opportunity there to rest the player. Susu Mia. No opportunity to rest around this guy. He's straight back into action. Martin Nelson now. And the pink headgear, pink boots. What a combination. To go. Goes left. To a foyer. The leg seems He's to be fine. Right there, Nothing wrong with him. And he wins his team a penalty.
It's a miracle. <laughs> you can walk. Well done. Tour for you. Shapes. Sees a defender out of the line. Takes him on. And again, they have tried to speed up, speed up the game here. Winning themselves either a penalty or some easy metres. So here they come now through Sulla. To a foy. Not sure if he's playing half or loose forward here, but wherever he is, he's, he's in the middle of everything. To Kel from dummy half. Looking for somebody. Nobody's there. He'll go himself. So to a foy now at dummy half. He's got Sam Nazi on his right, but he goes to his left to Prendergast. Dowie with a little bit of room. One on one. Trying to beat Karina. Karina's there, and here come the troops. The reinforcements show up to push him into touch. Great D from Waikato. And that's how they needed to defend the last play when they came out. You see Flood, the winger, holds his patience, has some trust in Cardena, his centre on the inside. And easy as you like. Holding off. Get the numbers in when contact's engaged. Force him into touch. Great D from the Waikato side on their goal line. Yeah, I love the work there from Karina. Managed to get across and then straighten up his hips as Dowie looked to test him out with the footwork. Speaking of footwork, here's Soti. The number two for Waikato. He plays it. Ray Hanna. He links up with Flood. So Flood's moved into the back row position, perhaps down this right edge. Here comes a right edge back rower. The other Flood. Bumpers up, looking to go over the top of Walter for feed up. Mount Walter. So plenty of work here down the short side of Waikato. And not a bad set. Oh! Just about. Susumia. Oh, he's playing possum. He wanted them to get close. Here he is now in open pastures. Oh, tries to throw out the beat, don't argue. Rex Sullivan knocks it down. But County's on the attack now. Martin Nelson, wide pass. Plenty of space out there on the left. Cut in his back in position. Oh, Sullivan. He made a try saver on one side. He comes back the other side. What a great effort, though, from Sullivan to cut off the tackle, stop the break, but then get all the way to the other side. I'll put that one down to more fatigue than anything. It was a high tackle. So, Counties with a fresh set of six. Boy. Tackle two, forward pass. Waikato off the hook. And you just see in the back, Mahingarangi just throwing his arms in the air. They've got to celebrate these moments and find, find these as sources of energy for themselves, Waikato. That's a big win defensively. They forced an error after scrambling back to stop the try, stop the break. Well, that's a great observation. You talk about energy and uh, the energy in this game. It's very quiet out there, isn't it? You know, you mentioned the chat. It's, uh... That's it. And you know very well that sometimes you've got to create your own energy mm. and create your own atmosphere, regardless of what the fans are bringing. And they do play a part, but you've got to find it. And those are the moments you've got to try and generate it from. Well, you don't have to create your own atmosphere at Rest Hills Park. <laughs> So penalty there. Referee Pucky Parkinson. Having the final word, why cut out? Yeah, a bit of interference in the play of the ball. Well, Rick Sullivan in the background, they're getting a drink. Well deserved. He's just putting out fires left, right and centre for this why cut defence. I'd like to see them get at least another one. They deserve at least one more try, Waikato, but that'll be, a down, that'll be down to their ball retention and how much they want to score a try to finish off this game.
So counties with some whack in their defense. As we're now inside the final quarter of this game. Oh, there's a promising run. Just taking it a little too far. Makai Maitu. Try to link up with Sotti on the offload. Nice play, Jordan Grace. Detaining proceedings as it comes out to the left. He was never going to get it out to sort him. Matthew, unfortunately, with the error. A nice play. Showing some moments of danger when they've come down this left hand side. So, Martin Nelson off the scrum. Prendergast for feeder. Waikato holding on there in the ruck. Very slow. Referee says that's enough. So at 30 points to four. Counties will... Start this set inside the Waikato 20. We've had a little uh, break in the scoring. To 40. Jamal Hunt will play it. To 40 at dummy half. Looks right, goes left. Prendergast, great tackle there from Flood. Taking no dummies. Nazi. Tips on to Dowie. Who's happy to die with the ball there. 20 in from touch on the right-hand side of the field for counties. Nazi now. Testing out this Waikato defense. With some different options. Oh, there's a nice little grubber from Ngati, but it's cleaned up from Waikato. Disappointing into the set. Yeah, look, it was a, the most creative of attacking sets from the from the county's Monaco side, but that was a great defensive set. Nonetheless, they were organised, they were patient, they were controlled, and most of all, they were connected Waikato on their oh. goal line. <laughs> and this period that you just spoke about, of not being any scoring it continues. A little bit of an arm wrestle here going on. Well, County's looking to bring some energy with their defense. Some big line speed there. Watson it. Oh, another whack there. So Jaden Watson it. Ray Hunter. There's a kick into the breeze. Taken well by Dowie. Big smile on his face as he runs across field. Thinking about linking up with his winger, perhaps. Soso Mia. Oh, there he is now. He's an absolute wrecking ball, Louis Soso Mia. And that's Ramsey. Jaden Watson again, who's just found himself on his backside. He's just thrown himself in front of bodies and probably needs to have some consideration about his tackle technique. <laughs> So Terrell Sulla, no time for consideration when they're coming one after the other. County's just rolling up the middle. Tongia for four. Back onto the field now after his stint on the interchange. Flood. So into a little bit of an arm wrestle now, bit of back and forth. Sotti. It was cleaned out on his last run. But that hasn't stopped them coming back for more. Some great running rugby league here. Oh, no. Again. So, Maitu again. <laughs> so dangerous with the ball in hand. Mikey Maitu. Just un unable to control the ball fully. You may be wondering... Where his support was on his outside, Sorti had taken the play before, but still he made 
Samin Rose that he had no right to, just needed to control the ball. Yeah. Did look, all the hard work. Looked like he was looking to swap swap hands to maybe take things back inside, get their fend up perhaps. So 12 minutes left in this one. Counties will be looking to find some form as they go up against the Vulcans next week. Undefeated, the Auckland Vulcans. Watson Benedict. Skiddling our man Watson here again. Tungi for four to Hunt. Still going Hunt. Now we saw this in the first half. A similar run like this opened up. A try for our dummy half. Great line there. Strong and hard. There's Junior Mong Mongatai. Bit of cramp to go with it. Two for one combo. 34 yeah. points to four. And playing out to the right-hand side, as you said, Jamal Hunt. This time causing stress in the defensive line. Ivan Rehana not able to stick into the contact, which left a one-on-one. -on -one. And Ngārima Junior Mongatai, too strong. Too dangerous to take in a one-on-one -on -one tackle that close to the try line. And our, our lull, if you can call that, between scoring is broken. Counties Manukau with 10 minutes to go in this one. Lead 34 to four with the kick to come. So 10 minutes left in this one, Dowie. To add the extras. And he does just that, 36. Points to four. A nice play. Rather than going out the back, sees the half read from Rehana, just getting in front of his inside defender. Decides to play short and gets reward for it. Tough power running from Counties Manukau. Been one of the positives for their performance this afternoon. Yeah, well, it's been one of their strengths throughout the tournament. Something they'll be looking to carry into next week. Have you had a look at the Vulcans team play this year? I've not seen any of their performances. I have seen their team list. And uh, they've got some very, very good players who, uh, uh, who can be very proud of their performance. Their seasons in the Fox Memorial this, uh, this year. They're a dangerous side, which is why they sit atop the league ladder in this premiership. Well, a flashback to last year's final was Counties Monaco took on the Vulcans in last year's final, and it was an absolute massacre. Auckland Vulcans flexing their muscle that day, not only in the men's, but the women's too. Of course, winning the double. But be interesting to see how things play out in the next two weeks. Be interesting to see if this can, this opportunity here for counties can be converted into points too. Tongi for four, still going. Looking for another offload. But this time they keep hold Waikato. We've got half the team defending there. Tongi for four. Oh! That's two for four. Eight. But dummy half taking advantage here. Some tired bodies for Waikato. Yeah, it's all for. He gets the reward and comes away with the try. But this was the play. Down the left-hand side. Counties Manukau. And Tumio for four. Just shrugging all the defenders off. Too hard to handle. Had a couple of moments where he could have offloaded. Decided to stick with it and thought better of it. Tohofoy, Desmond Tohofoy gets a second for the afternoon. I just hope that for the Waikato side's sake, that the floodgates don't open here now. 
They've got seven or so minutes to keep fighting. As I said at half time, and it's been the case through the second half. Their performance has been a massive improvement. There's been a huge improvement in their performance this afternoon from what they were last week. Well, at 40. You, can, you, go, you can just sense that counties have got a real taste in their mouth now. Playing through the front door on a couple of occasions and tearing some holes in the defensive line of the Waikato side. Well, at 42 points to four, you might say the floodgates have already opened. But, of course, uh, this is only half the points they conceded last week, Waikato. It looks like Rangi jumping to his feet there, coming on the field, on the sideline. Oh, sliding catch here from Prendergast. Great take. So Jamal Hunt, bit of uh, toilet paper in the nose there. Mangal tight, too much power in these big boys coming up. Coming up through the uh, this left edge for counties. Nazi keeps hold. Here goes a try score again, looking for another one. He's got support there. But to Fo'e will play it with no markers in front of them. Here come counties. Plenty of pressure on the catch here. Too easy. It's Lolo here getting his first try of the day. And he created the last try. It was his break. That's setting the counties medic outside down the field and on the chase and it's his effort to chase get up and beat Flood to the ball I thought either Flood or Sullivan the fullback for the Waikato side were going to get up but his effort and his desire to beat them and get to the, get to the ball Prendergast puts up the kick and takes it nice and clean he just cruises it to put the ball down 46 to 4 to the county's Manukau side. So Dowie adds the extras. Plenty of rugby league for you today, of course. The big one tonight Penrith, Sharks. What's your predictions for that one, Willie? I've been saying all week, I just felt early doors that Penrith were the best team in, in week one of the playoffs. I've, uh, I've got them winning by 20 tonight. And uh, a few people chuckled when I said that, but looking at last night's game with the Storm winning by 30, I don't think it uh, might, might not be too far off. We'll have to wait and see what the Sharks got up their sleeve. Wait and see what County's got up their sleeve too. Is there any more points left in them? Again, they're not helping themselves. Why cut it with these kickoffs? Are they short, long kickoffs or long, short kickoffs? And I can't work it out. They've just got to try and kick the leather of it and try and get it as far down to the try line as they can because they're just making easy metres. So to for it. Love to see the stats on his run meters for this game. County's just rumbling. Now the offload, Dowie. We well, talked about the floodgates being opened. I think Waikato are yet to close them. So tackle four. Nazi, long pass. Looking for some space. They've got some. Lola here finds for feeder. And that's another one. Is that number two or three for the big fella? And there's three for Fafida. 
for the afternoon. Didn't have a lot of work to do on that one. Because all the work was done through the middle. And Tungi for four. With a nice little offload, which continued play out to Dowie. And get in the overlap. Cardina wasn't able to finish off the tackle. And two and one out on the edge. Presented nicely to Walter Fafita. Lola here he gets it out to his winger. And he gets to put it down. So all smiles there, Walter Fafita. Better second half for counties. Much better. Much better, much better control, much better patience. A much better willingness to put dents through the middle of the field. They were helped somewhat by the kicking game of Waikato. We weren't able to get any depth to the to their kicks in any field position. And the amount of defensive work that they've had to do, Waikato has totally taken its toll. A bit like the first half. When we got to half time, we could see out the half here before this kickoff is uh, the home side are in no rush whatsoever. Yeah, just stroll into this one. So, Grace's. And that's a better kickoff. Much better. Kicked it to the right place. I don't know if you kicked it to the right person, though. Walter Fafida. Rumbling up the field. Now here's Mongatai. So Huda should go any second. There it is. And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Job done for counties. Another W in the win column. Final score, 52 points to four. No surprises in the scoreline there, Wills? No, no surprising in the scoreline. They had to work for it in the first half. But their work paid off in the second half. Ultimately, very few chances for the Waikato side to post any more points than what they got just before halftime through Cardena. And I'm sure... The coaching staff for the Stingrays will be more than happy to come away unscathed with the win and cementing second spot on the table as they get ready now to face their big one next weekend. Well, plenty of action there in the second half as we have a look at some of these tries. Some good ball movement, asking questions. Hunt busting through the middle. Not able to set themselves. This was last play on the back of some persistent work. Attacking wise, just taking its toll. Play out to the left. Uh, disorganisation, as we spoke about defensively. From flood to try and fly out. They go across the face of James Dowie, the fullback, to Fafita, who gets his second for the afternoon. Uh, counties, of course, piling on the points in the second half. Waikato unable to solve some of these uh, questions that they had over them defensively. Mongatai there, great run, picking out his defender one-on-one, -on -one, carrying him through the line. And then this left edge for counties really came to life second half. Great ball. Out to Lula here. Great run. Does enough to draw the fullback, Sullivan. Talking out for four. Just dancing around defenders, toying with them, showing the ball. And to to Foy, he gets his first of the afternoon, straight out of dummy half. And this time, the kick goes up, last play. Lola here. Just better on the jump, faster to the ball. More purpose to get to the jump. 
he gets his try for the afternoon. And some ball movement here from the county's Manukau side. All the stress in the middle of the field taking its toll. They couldn't get numbers across. Cardinal trying to climb out because he was short for numbers. He had to do it on that occasion. But couldn't get quite of an, enough of a grip on, on the ball carrier. And for Fida, gratefully takes his third for the afternoon. And what will be a better performance for the coaching staff from the county's medical side. An improvement for Waikato, however, from last week, but still be disappointed in that scoreline. Well, a barrage of points in the second half for counties. We've got Jamal Hunt down there on the sideline. Well, Jamal uh, looked like comfortable win on the scoreboard. Thoughts on the game? Yeah, oh, oh, overall happy with the with the win. Um, I think a bit rough in the in the beginning there. A few too many errors uh, for our liking, but um, yeah, full credit to the Waikato boys. They come out and, and put it on for us. Um, yeah, we're happy with uh, how we went today. So we'll be looking to needing to take that into next week against a strong uh, Vulcans team. As you say, a uh, few errors, especially early on, because the scoreboard stayed stayed tight. Bit of complacency, you think? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, probably, possibly. Um, you know, I, think, I know it was, a, it was a bit of a drive. I think it was a bit different, but similar to our Dunedin trip. Uh, we took a bus down this morning. Maybe it was the early wake-up for the lads uh, getting on the bus and coming down, but no, nah, uh, we're going to need to be better for next week. As you say, massive game next week up against the uh, against the Auckland. Um, looking forward to that one. Yeah, definitely. They're going well, really well. Uh, they played the Waikato boys last week, uh, put on, put one on them, and uh, we, we got one today. So we're going to need to be strong, especially uh, how we started. Uh, we need to start strong because they got a, got a big pack and uh, they moved the ball really well. So we're going to need to be yeah, a lot better next week. Yeah, looking forward to uh, a really cracking game there. Well, well done today. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Well, that'll be an epic encounter next week when they take on the Vulcans. He's, he talked about the middles, the middle versus middle matchup. There it is there, 12 p.m. next Saturday. If you look at the two forward packs, if they cancel each other out, do you see enough from these counties' halves from the back line to do a job on the Vulcans? Yeah, they could threaten them, very much so. Uh, wait to see if Arthur Crichton comes back into the fold for the counties' Manukau side. He's so influential to this side. He was influential for Papakura this season. He's had some experience over in, in the NRL systems. And he's brought that back here to the Fox Memorial competition. So I think he'll be in addition to the side. And if they are able to get on the front foot and put some dents in the, in the Vulcans' defensive line next week, then there's every reason why they could come away with the result. They've got the quality. It'll be a quality game next week, that's for sure. Well, Waikato are not done yet either. They've got another game next week. We've got their captain, Maihingarangi, down on the sideline. Well, Mahinga, tough day today. Um, how did you think your team fared? Uh, definitely improvements from last week, but um, still not good enough, eh? Like, we can, we can think like that and have that um, perspective, but at the end of the day, we're in this tournament to, to win games, really. And when you don't get the result, it's, it's just a bit tough. You needed to uh, have a, bit, a reaction from uh, last weekend um, when you, they put 80 on you. So uh, pleased in that regard, they kept the score down a bit. Like, like I said, like you can you can look at it like that. But at the end of the day, we we're here to win. Like that's the that's the goal. You know, not to be better than last week. Well, uh, speaking about winning, you got a game against Bayer Plenty next weekend. Certainly one that you can win. Yeah, well, that's that's what we'll be thinking, eh? And, I guess like every every game we, we want to be going to win, but um, you know we're we're close, so they, they, we've always got their rivalry against the base. So it'll be good to go, go up against them next week. What do you have to do well to beat them next week? Um, we're still finding out how what our game really is, so that's that first and foremost. That's what we've got to do, and um, once we find it, then maybe I'll, I'll have the answer for you next week. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, mate! All the best next week, anyway. Yes, thank you. Well, Mahingarangi doing well there. Almost like an interrogation style to be there. Some very tough questions coming at him. But uh, Waikato, they will be taking on Bay of Plenty Lakers. That's next Saturday at 2 p.m. Yes, Waikato are looking for their first win. Bay of Plenty already had their first win last weekend when they beat Otago 38 points to 30. And an absolute classic. Here's some of the results from week four. You see the Vulcans 
taking down Otago Whalers, Whalers earlier today. County's too good for Waikato. And then in the Women's Premiership, County's Monaco taking down Canterbury. And this is what our table looks like for our men's premiership. Four wins out of four for both the Vulcans and the county's Monaco side. The stage is set for next week, isn't it? And for the week after. Uh, of course, there's a final to this competition. These two will play next week, and they're guaranteed to be the top two at the end of whatever the result for next weekend. How the coaches play, that'll be interesting as well. Yeah, what's Do they go plan? full strength? next weekend and, and go for the win knowing that you're already through to the final mm. do you hold back on your tactics do you hold back on your talent and hold some of your firepower till the big one the week after that'll be interesting to see how they play that absolute head games going on here in the men's premiership but it's been a great day down here at rest hills park all smiles for counties too strong for waikato 52 points to four they'll be getting on the bus soon And we'll see you later. Till next time.